Got him. No oh god, he's gonna break my line. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. If you're new to the channel, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button down there. Leave me a comment down there. Let me know where you're watching from. I enjoy you know, knowing where everybody's watching from and uh, how much y'all are liking these videos and everything. So today's video, um, we are going to do a uh, kind of a 2020 recap a little bit. Uh, not, we're not really too much into that, but um, I'm gonna show you all some footage that I never got to show, that I never put into any of my videos. Um, so I'm going to show you all some of that today, and then we are going to go over our 2021 schedule. Um, that, that's going to be our FLW tournaments of what we're fishing. I'm going to kind of give you all a little bit of insight as to what we're going to be doing in 2021 video footage wise, as uh, you know, what we're going to be bringing to the channel, what everybody's going to get to see. Um, I do have a few cool projects uh, that I, I'm very interested or I'm very excited to bring to you. Of course, I'm interested in it, but uh, I'm really excited to bring it to you all. Um, so that's just kind of what we're going to do today. We're going to, we're going to dive into that. Uh, we're, we're going to take a, a look back at some of the, some of the footage that I have. Um, and we're just, we're just going to kind of do, a, like I said, a real quick recap. Um, I really didn't really know what we were going to call this video is why I'm rambling on because I didn't have a clue. I was just like, yeah, we'll just turn the camera on and go. Um, but anyway, so I've got, um, let's see here. I think I've got four clips. Um, now I didn't, I didn't put in like, you know, every single little thing that you all didn't get to see because if that were the case then gosh this would be a really really long video um so we've got one catch that um you all didn't get to see then we have a video of uh which is one of my favorite catches down on lake okeechobee uh then we got a second catch y'all didn't get to see so there's two catches that you didn't get to see of really good quality fish and then there's two that were just kind of a highlight of my year, I guess, that I just really enjoyed. Um, and then the, the, the last video, um, the last video uh, was kind of a little bit of a heartbreaker video. Um, you know, we lost a really good fish. And we, just, we had a tough day on the water and we, did, we actually did a video on it, but uh, we're gonna bring it back around to that video clip. And so we're gonna, we're gonna do it the same way that we did last time. Uh, I'm going to, watch the video clips with you all and uh, kind of commentate over it and that just that kind of jazz. Um, I, we're, not, we're not gonna, I think we only got about four minutes of video footage there. Um, actually, we have less than that. We have like three and a half minutes of video footage there. And then at the end of this video, I am going to debut and show my very new intro. This will be the first time anybody's ever seen it. Um, very, very big shout out to my good friend, Jeff Payne. He is a horror movie specialist, but, um, he's also video of mine and Holly's wedding. And, uh, he was kind enough to go out with me onto Douglas Lake and film my new intro for the YouTube channel. So stick around for that at the end of the video. That's when we're going to do it. So let's get into this guys. I had a complete blonde moment and I completely forgot about what, I, what all I was going to put in this. Like I said, in the beginning of the video, I was just going to, I turned the camera on and just went at it. So as, as I edited all this, I was like, dang on, I'm missing all kinds of stuff. So a few other things that we want to, we just want to add in here real quick before we jump into the video section, and everything, a few other things that we were really thankful for in, in 2020 was kind of what I wanted to add in there. Um, you know, for in, in at the beginning of 2020, we started our YouTube channel, and um, we we started it off with uh, these fish catches here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put up a few snapshots for you guys just to see kind of everything that we did throughout the year that that really got us started the going on the trail that we did. Um, you know, big thank you to everybody who's following my Instagram. You know, we we got over 20,000 followers by the end. At, at currently, at the end of 2020, we were at uh, 21.7 thousand followers, which is a huge deal. Thank you all very much. Um, so some of, some of the highlights of, of 2020 that I, I don't have the foot video footage for because whatever reasons or whatnot. Um, one, one of the cool things that did happen, um, my dad and I got to fish with uh, Ranger Pro uh, and Garmin Pro John Murray on Lake Chickamauga. So that, that was pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, the night before I was supposed to go fishing with him, I took my own boat out on Lake Chickamauga and I broke my personal best for the second time in the year with a 7.01 pound large mouth. Um, we, and like I said, twice. So I, I did break my personal best twice this year. Um, 
you know, so I, I'm gonna put up a photo of that as well. Um, I got a photo of my seven pounder on here. Um, we, we had a lot of big fish catches this year. And I know when I say big fish, most people are thinking double digit fish, but we, they, just, they don't get that big here at Cherokee, Douglas, um, and all these other little fisheries that I fish. Uh, they, they, they don't, they don't get that big. So, um, but you know, we did have some really good fish catches. I'm going to put up on the screen for you guys. Um, and then I have a few fish catches that people are going to be like, well, I don't need that. That's a little fish. What's that all about? But, uh, I, I, I do have a, a, a photo in here of my grandfather. I did get to, uh, catch some fish with my grandfather on Lake Okeechobee. Um, huge shout out, or not on Lake Okeechobee. I'm sorry. On Lake Cherokee. Um, huge shout out to X Zone Lures for uh, my grandfather's favorite uh, color was uh, Red Shad and their Blitz Worm, and they sent him some of those worms that he did actually get the fish before he passed. Um, just trying to just kind of looking through all my other photos through here of what else we've got. Um, you know, we we got to fish a lot with my brother and my nephew, which was absolutely awesome getting to go out with him. My nephew is going to be ten this year, and he's finally a. He's appreciating the fishing and whatnot. Um, another awesome thing that we got to do, uh, we got to actually hook up with some of our followers and actually go out and go fishing. And I got to meet some of them. Uh, but the, the one that really uh, w was great was uh, Blake Johnson. Um, he he has the uh, Rookie to Pro podcast. Uh, him and I are both on the Elite Angler Pro staff together. And uh, he he was on his way to Florida. He called me. He was like, hey, if, if I make a detour and come through Sevierville, can we hit Douglas Lake together? I was like, absolutely. We'll make that happen. Uh, so he, you know, I got a couple photos of me and Blake out there fishing. Um, he picked the absolute coldest and rainiest day of the year at that time. <laughs> um, but it was, it was still a really great time. Um, my dad, um, my dad broke his personal best in on Lake Okeechobee while he was caring for my grandfather. Um, he broke his personal best two or three times. I've got those photos. I'll put up there for you all. Um, I got a few snapshots on here, just of me, uh, fishing that, uh, Jeff Payne did for me. And then... The last couple photos I'm gonna run, uh, I, I got a photo or two of me and my grandfather, and then I have a photo of my uncle Gene, uh, my, my grandfather's brother. Um, I have a very unique photo series that I'm starting for MK Photography, well, I've already started it, but I will be debuting January, in January um, in honor of my grandfather. Um, so this, this is my uncle Gene, and he's just a natural born bass angler. He, when he went and visited my grandfather, and my dad was down there. My Uncle Gene didn't even look. He grabbed a rod, a, one bait casting rod and reel that was just sitting out there on the deck as my brother-in-law Cody's. Didn't even hesitate. Just threw it like it was nothing on, with a, with a uh, Exxon lure center stick and he caught that bass instantly. He, he's just a natural worm angler and that, that's just really cool to me. But anyway, that was all. I, I forgot to, I just completely forgot about all that jazz that I wanted to put in there. I was getting hyped up on the videos. But uh, so anyway, without further ado, here are the video clips. All right, guys. So we have got, uh, I kind of set y'all up a little more facing forward now. So this was one of the catches you all didn't get to see this year. Uh, I was actually filming this for a uh, swim bait video. Um, I was actually out prototyping, uh, testing a new prototype rod. I couldn't get them on a big swim bait. So I went down to micro swim bait finally got what happened um you know oh we, we got up into a creek so i'm actually on the phone with holly when when i hook into this bad boy and you can see i, I casted that a ways out and uh this was actually my first small mouth since oh, small I, I shot this back in this How was in august and i hadn't caught a small mouth it's since small like mouth. may like it'd been a while so then this catch uh this was another catch that i was at with my brother and my nephew um, we were just not having a good time. I had no intention of really filming anything, but we got on a really good bite. Um, and then I hooked into this bad boy. Um, I don't have video footage of me actually showing it or anything. So I'm gonna put up photos of it for y'all to see. Um, but I hooked into that big girl and that was a great time. Um, this was, uh, th this is going to be my two favorite catches of the year. This is, this is my second favorite catch of the year, uh, just because this is when my grandfather passed and we were down on Lake Okeechobee and, um, I hadn't fished Lake Okeechobee in a really, really long time. And, uh, when we got out there and I hooked into this joker, yeah. oh my gosh, it just, 
it felt <clears throat> so good fighting the thing. And that that this is actually uh, it. it was my that. first fish catch on that loose hyper mag as well. It was just an absolute beast, and I, I love that lake as it is. Now, this final catch, uh, if you all watched my SLX, uh, Shimano SLX DC review, this was hilarious. I lost a fish, he took my bait, I, I stopped the video, like I <laughs> said my buys and everything, and then I mouth. hooked I into him. this joker. And this was probably my favorite video clip of the year, just because I knew there was a fish there, and any other time I would have just turned the camera off, and I was like, no, I, I'm not gonna turn the camera off, I got might you be able to catch time. it, and I go back Guys, in video there, ain't over and sure enough, yet. I do. Um, I forgot there. about this video. <laughs> I was just, uh, I was flipping yeah. around on, on Beach Creek, and this isn't a big fish or anything. Um, it, we just had a good time. I was out there with Holly, and we were out there fishing. Um, okay, so th this is the, the the heartbreak video that we, we all talked about. Um, you know, I put this in there because this is a life lesson here to remember to, to always keep your head up always you know stay positive and whatnot throughout your your fishing days and everything um and and you know that that's i was fooling around with i lost i lost a bunch of fish that day but guess what i went back out there i still caught more fish the next day and the day after but uh i just i kind of put this in there just to kind of remind us that you know 2021 may have sucked, but uh, we we still had a good year, especially especially MK uh, Michael and I fishing and and my fiance and I we had a great year, and, and that's really all that matters is that uh that it all pays off in the end. Just you know you, you keep keep a cool head, stay calm about everything, and it it really will um, it'll pay off in the end as as much as that losing that fish sucked. <laughs> so. Those, those were the, the five, I guess there were five clips, not four, um, that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so for 2021, um, we are going to be fishing the FLW Volunteer Division again, the FLW BFLs. Um, last year, you know, it got, um, it got canceled because of COVID and all that jazz. And then by the time they rescheduled it, um, you know, I'm, I don't know if everybody knows or not, but I'm a professional photographer. I own my own photography business. And I had already booked a dozen weddings, and it just so happened that the last three FLW tournaments were the same days as weddings I had already booked. Um, so as much as I, I wanted to fish the BFLs, I, I just couldn't I, because I already had the commitment to my uh, to my photography clients. So for 2021, uh, we are a go for the FLW BFL Volunteer Division. We actually have our very first tournament January 30th on Lake Chickamauga. Um, this is gonna be a very interesting tournament. It's gonna be a, uh, there's a strong chance that it's gonna be a frigid tournament, um, but there's also a strong chance that we're gonna see some 10 pounders caught. Um, Chickamauga is the land of the giants. And for those of you who don't know, the uh, Tennessee um, largemouth record at 15 pounds and change came out of Lake Chickamauga in February. Um, so, Big fish are produced on Chickamauga, especially in the winter time when they're feeding up. It's going to be a, a slow tournament, I think, but uh, we're, we're going to start there on Lake Chickamauga January 30th. Now, I'm not going to tell you the exact dates of all the other tournaments because honestly, I can't remember, uh, but we are going to go to Cherokee, South Holston, Douglas, and then we will wrap it all up in, I can't remember if it's September, October for a two-day super tournament on Watts Bar. Um... So for anybody that's new to the channel, uh, Cherokee and Douglas are my home lakes. I'm 45 minutes from either one. I'm right in the middle. So um, th those, are, those are I really look forward to. South Holston I struggle on. Um, of course, last year was a struggle all the way around, if we're being completely honest. Um, we had a lot of boat issues. With the last, uh, 2018, let's, let's rephrase that. 2018 was my very first year in the BFLs. And I had a lot of boat problems with a new boat, uh, new to me boat. I was trying to work out all the wiring issues and everything. And... Uh, yeah, so anyway, 2018 was a bust. Well, it wasn't a bust. I still qualified for regionals. I, I made regionals, but um, 2019 was definitely a bust. We fished one tournament on Douglas. If you all will remember, um, I did, uh, I, I broke my personal best in practice, and then I zeroed the day of the tournament because we had a massive cold front that came through. So uh, we're, we're looking to improve on that. Um, as far as other tournaments go, we will be fishing just some miscellaneous rodeos here and there. Nothing you know crazy that we're going to put on the books. Um, 
but then we are going to continue our big bass tour on Douglas Lake. We will continue to fish that one. We are looking at possibly doing the big bass tour on Lake Chickamauga, possibly Lake Gunnersville. Uh, we, we were looking around at some other uh, options for uh, other tournaments that we want to fish. So uh, that, that's all we've got for tournaments this year. But uh, some, of the, some of the video projects that I'm really looking forward to that I, I really hope that you guys are going to get into as well. Um, we're going to do a lot of wintertime technique fishing because it is January now, January 1st. Um, we're going to get into a lot of that. And uh, kind of break all that down on these on Cherokee and Douglas is you know those are my home lakes so that's kind of where we're gonna do it. Um, but one big big project that I'm really looking forward to that I hope everybody really enjoys is my dad and I are going to be building the ultimate crappie rig. Um, my grandfather gave my dad his uh, 2020 Sun Tracker pontoon boat, and we are going to make the ultimate crappie rig out of it. And when I say ultimate crappie rig. It's going to be something else. Um, we've already got the boat down at White Pine. Um, they are currently installing the Minn Kota Ultrex on there for us. So we will have an Ultrex. Uh, we're still throwing around the idea of uh, power poles. Uh, we're going to go uh, upgrade the graphs. We're going to have all kinds of lighting on it. We're going, to, we're going to go all out. We're going to walk you all through how we build it and how you know everything that we do, why we do what we do on this rig to make it the ultimate crappie rig. And then we're hoping that we can actually take you guys out and we're gonna be able to actually put together some crappie fishing videos. Um, I've never crappie fished on Cherokee or Douglas. I've only ever crappie fished on Lake Okeechobee. So uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do on Cherokee and Douglas. Um, I, you know, I have caught crappie on Cherokee and Douglas by accident, not definitely not on purpose, but we're gonna see what we can do there. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna kind of wrap this up. I don't wanna go too crazy long of a video. Uh, I am going to officially debut the new 2021 intro for Michael Knapp Fishing. It will be up on the uh, the beginning of my page for a little while. I'm going to put it on Instagram. I'm going to kind of put it just, uh, wherever I can to kind of just get it out there and show it off. But uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It turned out really good. Uh, Jeff Payne did an absolute stellar job for me. Um, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. He... He was a trooper climbing up these mountains and stuff. He ruined his, his Converse's or Vans. I can't remember what he was wearing, but he ruined his shoes and mud and everything. I mean, he, he went all out for me. So without further ado, guys, we're going to roll this video. And I'm, I'm not going to get back on here afterwards. So do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think of the new intro. And I will see you guys later on this week or next week, whichever week it is. And we will have some new videos out for everybody and we will have the new intro on there. So I really hope you guys like this. Take care, guys.